over 700 earthquakes in just a few hours. Tourist season is running in full force, so that is not good because the location of these earthquakes is where a volcano is on Tenerife, guys, during the early hours in the morning. The National Geographic Institute has detected a new seismic swarm in the area of Las Cañadas del Taide, southwest of Pico Viejo on the island of Tenerife, and that is a lot, 700 earthquakes. So over the course of only five hours, more than 700, yes, small earthquakes, but that is always the case at a volcano, right? We don't see the massive mega quakes in the same area as a cluster. So something's going on there. That is what, cl what clusters are telling us. So it has once again put the spotlight on the volcanic activity on the island. We've had swarms over the course of the last year, but 700. And this phenomenon has raised concern among the population. Although right now the Canary Islands Volcanic Institute say there's no risk to the island's inhabitants, um, they say this is common in volcanic regions and they th say there's no eruption imminent. But guys, we have to be honest, these cluster swarms are always a sign that something's on the move. Fluids, volcanic fluids, magmatic fluids, hydrothermal fluids, gases with magma as origin one way or the other. So according to the INGN, the earthquakes began around 2 in the morning and ended at 7.30 in the morning. All earthquakes roughly at a depth of 7 miles, 10 kilometers, low magnitudes. The earthquakes were not really felt by the population, so it doesn't seem that people were like, waking up and running out of their homes. But that doesn't mean that this is not concerning. So the tremors were basically only captured by the automatic seismic monitoring systems that are around this volcano. And because many of those are low energy, they do not, do not even meet the requirements to be included in the official catalog of earthquakes. So good that we now know about them. So this is the sixth seismic cluster swarm that has been detected in Tenerife since 2016. The previous ones have occurred in October 16, in June 2019, and twice in 2022. And then we had one in November 2024, all in the same area near Mount Taide. And now the distances seem to become a little bit shorter and the earthquakes seem to become more. So the scientists are saying, well, if we compare it to the 2021 eruption of La Palma, the swarm at Mount Taide does not show the energy or the migration pattern or changes in gas emissions that would indicate an imminent eruption. But we know every volcano is different and maybe what doesn't show today might show tomorrow or in a few hours. What some scientists are also telling us that they have two types of swarms that they have identified. One is volcanic tectonic and the other is hybrid. And they say this is both typical of the island's underground dynamics. And what are the island's underground dynamics? It's a volcano, basically. Magma and volcanic fluids moving around building up pressure. So they say the first lasted about three hours with 55 earthquakes with a maximum magnitude of 1.5. And then the second made of, of hundreds of small events was related to the movement of hydrothermal fluids, such as water and gases through subsurface fractures. So for now, they don't see significant ground deformations or anomalous increases in gas emissions. Because if, 
If you have that in addition to a cluster swarm, that would swarm, that would be dangerous. So right now they say, they suggest that there is no evidence that a short-term eruption um, might be happening. The probability of an eruption in Tenerife, they say it ranges about between 30 and 40 percent over the next 50 years. But can they really tell us that so precise? I think volcanoes can change pretty, pretty quickly and tell us, as I always say, hold my beer. And also clarify that is, despite their guess, it's impossible to predict when something will happen. The volcanologist said today that magma can spend decades accumulating beneath the islands before any eruption. But what stage are we in right now? How far has this accumulation processed? And they do have informed regional authorities of the incidents. They have not changed the alert levels. They have not activated any emergency protocols. That's what they say for now. The seismic monitoring network at Mount Taide on the Canary Islands is one of the most comprehensive in Europe and it can detect even the slightest subsurface movements. So hopefully, thanks to this infrastructure, scientists might be able to give a warning of any significant abnormal signs. But it was a strong swarm. And if we look at the earthquake, map, even without the micro seismic tremors, the shake map shows considerable earthquake clusters beneath the summit area of the volcano. And most of the epicenters are located southwest of Pico Viejo, basically the subsidiary volcano of Mount Taide that has last erupted between June 9th and September 8th in 1798. We see several cinder cones. It looks like a moon landscape over there. These cinder cones are now known as the Nariches del Taide. They're formed on the volcano's western flank and that 1798 eruption was predominantly effusive, has produced lava flows that have altered the landscape there significantly, but they have not reached the coast or caused any destruction. So Pico Viejo has not erupted since then, but the area continues to experience seismic activity as we see right now with these 700 quakes in under five hours. And the area where the current earthquakes are occurring is exactly where we've seen these similar episodes in the past years that I have mentioned. So the largest earthquake is 1.5. Sounds small, but again, for a volcano, it tells us that there is something going on. And this is interesting. The earthquakes were interpreted as fracturing of brittle rock. That is never good because magma always takes the way of least resistance. So fluids can, can rise into these cracks depth between five to nine miles. You see this on the map here. These cracks, while this earthquake swarm happens or the reason for this earthquake swarm is the movement of fluids, magmatic gases, hydrothermal waters through these cracks within the volcanic system. This is the volcanic plumbing system, how it is called. So they say this is a prolonged process of magmatic fluid injection into the hydrothermal system. Basically, they say a phenomenon observed since 2016. We will have to wait and see if this thing is getting ready. Hopefully they're right that there is nothing imminent. I will keep watching this for you and my next video will be 
another volcano that is rumbling significantly, guys. So better subscribe and click the notification bell so that you do not miss it. And what you also do not want to miss, guys, click here in the end screen. I promise you it's going to be good and then we don't have to say goodbye. If you want to support the channel, guys, fill me up with coffee. Link is in the description underneath the video player buymeacoffee.com slash silky. You can buy me a coffee there. Click the join button to become a supporting member. I will release a new video for you guys. I have filmed it a few days ago. I just need to edit it. The volcanoes keep me busy. And thanks for you supers. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you right there. Click here. Bye-bye.